Good news, Luma Fusion is coming to Android. But the thing is, you guys are not getting the best of Luma Fusion. Let's try now on this video. Let's go. Now this is a news news break on the nine to five Google. So this article here, leave down the description if you want to read it. Okay, so I say it is uh, it's officially Luma Fusion is coming to Android. But we know about this. Luma Touch announced it last year. There's a blog post by Kerry Morgan the co-founder of Luma Touch, the, the people that create Luma Fusion. She said that she is gonna expand Luma Fusion to more people. And right now, it's, they have made it official, okay? But we know this is coming. Now it's just official. We don't know the exact date yet, but it's coming to Android. Now I'll tell you the bad news first, okay? It's version 2.4 of Luma Fusion. The iOS guy get the 3.0, which is a much better experience for video editing. You guys are getting a soft par right now, but it's better than whatever out on the market right now for tablet or mobile device for Android. If you are saying that ecosystem is all right, 2.4, I think it's better than nothing. Okay, that's the bad, bad news. But the good news, okay, is what? After you pay the $30, the free upgrade is continually, okay? So you are get free upgrade, okay, to three point something. When they tested out the Android system, then you guys can get it for free as well, a free upgrade. Not everyone is an Apple fan, I understand that. I was that kind of guy as well, okay? I was an Android user before I switched to the iPad because I want to travel light. That's the reason why I want to switch to a, an iPad. And I want something like this, okay? Apple Air, light enough for me to do edit 4K, no problem at all. 4K, no problem. One thing about iOS system is what? They have a lot of apps, great apps in there. Luma Fusion is one of them. The other app that you have to consider is what? Procreate. Using Luma Fusion and without Procreate is like using a Premiere Pro without After Effects. So you have to consider that as well when you think about staying with Android. When you staying with Android, there's limited app available for you. Now, that's the two program that really change the way you create art, okay? Or any creative people that want to tell a story. Go on the web, you can read the reviews as much as you want. Go on the Reddit, okay? You can see some great art right there. Both apps can create great art for you, okay? Now, the question is, if you are a artist, so you stick around to Android, I doubt you will, okay? You will consider seriously switching to an iPad. Start out with an iPad Air, something cheap, then test out the system first. Test out the app that are available on the App Store. Want to know which iPad is right for you? Now check out this video where I go through the process. I'll see you next time with another video. Bye.